What's up guys? So yesterday I actually bought a bucket seat off of Facebook Marketplace. It cost me $70 and a mongoose bicycle. Never used the bike, so I'm saying I bought it for $70. It's a little rough. Um, I'll show you in a sec. But my plan is clean it up best I can. All the holes I'll patch using any material. Something, I guess, more fun. Give it some character. But honestly, structurally it's fine. So if I make it look pretty, I'll be much happier with that. So as you see, rip here. Somewhere here, there's stains here, over there. And the fabric's a little loose. But what I was thinking, so I'll vacuum it up. I'll, my sister has something to get out stains. The parts like this, hopefully I could take the fabric off. I could put a big patch here. And then all the wrinkly spots, I'm probably going to, I guess, just tighten somehow. I haven't really looked at it too much, but I'll pull the material back, tighten it up. Once it's all together, it'll be all right. I'm going to vacuum it up first and see what I can do. So I got one of them off. Um, looks like there's a slot here that one side slides into. But I'm not sure if these were glued together or what. But there was a gap in the middle. I used a, not a chisel, but something to put on spackle on walls. Wedged it in there and got them separated. So I'm going to try to do that with the other four as well. So it's completely stripped. This cover looks disgusting. So throwing this in the wash. Um, whatever holes there are. So let me find some. Like these little guys. This one. I know on this side. <coughs> That's disgusting. Oh my god. Um, whew, right here. That's the main hole. There's one here. So what I was thinking of doing is getting leather or Kevlar. Some material sturdy enough to... Um, it's like wear resistant. So I'll put it over the edges. Uh, the top of the bolsters pretty much. Like along that whole side. Gonna be putting more foam in, just clean it up, make it more comfortable also. But uh, you can see all this old ass foam. So I'm gonna do my best to clean up this seat and I'll probably sand down the fiberglass to get rid of all the previous rev residue. So I'll get to that now.
So right now, I'm at, hold on, Foam Rubber Fabrications in Belleville, I believe. I don't know if I'm allowed to film inside, but you could see huge factory. It's, it's pretty cool inside, so I'll show you around. I want to know what this place was before it got filled with foam. Pretty cool. This shit is nuts. Hella foam. But it was definitely an abandoned factory. Or it's school or something. I'm gonna head upstairs in a sec. That's your trunk over there? Yeah, it's in the way. I was told that this building was a car factory from the 1920s. It's pretty cool, as you saw inside, but now I wanna walk around the outside. I should have gone upstairs, but the guy came in <laughs> and kicked me out. But you can't make a home in here. So I walk around the outside of the building to see you. Unreal intertwined. You're not listening It is your choice to make A little mockery It won't do store there's a machining fabricate welding place and this is what they have in their parking lot that's cool old v-dub old mustang huh. what's up guys so right now I'm going to try and put new foam on the seat as you can see this is yellow it's kind of gross looking and it's not the coziest, so even though this is only like one layer thick, I might double that up and I might put some on the side as well. Um, I got I got this foam entire roll. It's probably like 15, 20 feet from this foam warehouse in um, in Belleville, I believe. Five bucks for all of this. So I'm going to take off the back pieces, trace it, cut it out. So, gonna get started now. I got two pieces cut out for the bottom. Uh, they fit perfect. Obviously, I'm just laying them in here. Uh, I got the back done as well. So all I have to do is really cut out the holes for the harness. Um, now, 
I have 3M general purpose spray adhesive. So what I'm going to do is spray it on the back of the fabric or the foam itself before I put it on the seat so I can pull it off if I need to fix it. Um, so I'll do that and then we'll go on to the actual cover of the seat. Got the foam all glued down. Looks much better than it used to. Um, yeah, you can see those uh, harness holes in the back. I'm gonna have to cut those out. But now I have some luggage brown leather that my mom had. And since all here, the, f the covering of the seat is ripped up here and some down here. I want to cut these to the proper size and use these as uh, just a sturdier material so when you get in and out it's not going to wear holes in the fabric. Next I'm going to have to um, figure out how to cut these out, where to sew them on and everything. but probably do like, probably do one here one here and one here on the other side too just so it's symmetrical if you see here that's where there's a hole on the side bolster there's some stains so the leather will be covering that up then here it's a little worn out as you can probably see um, I'm gonna just fill that in with some thread. Same thing on this side, there's some stains that will be getting covered up. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna see if I could do something fun, like write something right about here. Same way the Brid Lomax seats have something written. So I'll show you after the fact. Even though I put the foam where the seat had it beforehand, um, the fabric's actually very delicate, and these edges, as you can imagine, is fiberglass. They're harsh, and they're kind of sharp. When I try wrapping the fabric around it, it doesn't get to pull as nicely as I would like. And you could see that in the previous footage from when I bought the seat, everything was all saggy and just didn't look good. So I think I'm just going to fill all the side bolstering out with foam as I did here and have it pretty much wrap around to the edge so uh, when you when you pull the fabric it'll just make a nice rounded edge of foam instead of having it be harsh and potentially tearing the material. I'm going to get started, finish using some of that foam, trace it, cut it, glue it, you'll see that.
intertwined And you're not listening It is your choice to make a little mockery It won't do 